Oh yeah. I um shuffle them cards up and just, you know, let's let's keep it random cuz it's just about self-evaluation. You don't go like, well, let me try to pick something out. Nah, no, let's just shuffle them up real quick, pick one and see what happens. I drew the 30th card, which was vulnerability or uh if you're from down here, vulnerable burnable feeling burnable and i drew it was upside down it was in the inverse position said so, well vulnerability is open and seeks no reaction self-pity is closed and hopes for rescue said so, perhaps you wonder how anyone could treat you so cold-heartedly when you feel so bad but isn't the way you're expressing yourself slightly manipulative are you sucking like a child, wanting others to make it better for you, or trying to blame someone else for your discomfort? Underneath your tears or protestations, there is a deeper level of hurt, but you are fighting to deny by accusing someone or something else. There is a world of difference between genuine vulnerability and self-pity. In the latter, you seek to control people by playing vulnerable and eliciting sympathy, but it is not through other people that you will find healing. Make the choice to stop acting the victim and reclaim your power. Recognize that you are being faced by the very real needs of a hurting inner child, but that it's time to look to your own adult side to provide the love and consideration that are so desperately needed. Whoa, let me tell you something, man. I'm triggered. Now. <laughs> but for real, that's what I guess um, to me, it seems like an excellent tool for... Um, and the first word that came to mind was like gaslighting or something like that. But you can do self-evaluation. And that was the first one. I already looked at the first one. It was acceptance. That's what um, I'm Aquarius. The um, uh, Diction, no, nah, The Secret Language of Relationships by uh, Gary Goldschneider, Juiced Elfers. That's what Aquarius something. I was born on the 10th. So February 10th through something or other is the week of acceptance. So struggling against the powers that be, the world at large. Apparently my damaged inner child. I just read about my damaged inner child. Poor baby. I don't, you know, maybe I should talk to her. But it's uh, struggling for acceptance and to be respected among a hierarchical backdrop, you know what I'm saying? The way I feel, the way I've always felt is I'm a human, you're a human, you provide a service, I provide a service, we're all out here just living life that we're supposed to be doing. I'm not better than you because of any amount of money I make, a titular thing, like whatever my title is, blood birth or something like that. Oh, God, this bloodline is sacred. All of this other stuff, all of that ain't messed up, man. Do you do what you do effectively and to the best of your ability? Okay, you're a, you're a respectable human. Everything else, it's a no-go. But that's me, and that's not the norm. That's not a normal thing. That's not um, par for the course in existence. So, you know, like, am I blaming others for what goes on? And for me, especially with everything that's been going on in the world, you know, it's like, mm, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not racist. They're not elitist. They're not toxically masculine. It's my own inner child that's hurt. I don't have... You know, uh, I don't work with people who don't care about the quality of their work. I don't work with people who are more concerned about, you know, how much money everybody else is making and how they can advance their position, whether it hurts somebody or not. No, no, no. It's my damaged inner child that's really needing the work. And me focusing on anybody else, no matter how they treat me, is simply a reflection of what's going on inside me. And I should really check myself should be willing to be open and vulnerable but also have to be willing to uh, accept the consequences of being an open and honest person in this world it's food for thought food for thought excellent first pick later